So when you give advice, one of the things about adab, and this is really interesting to me, adab is the ability to know the place of things and to give things their proper due. So it's really translated as comportment or a type of discipline in which you recognize where things belong. And part of recognizing where things belong is to recognize where you belong in relation to social hierarchies. I mean, one of the things that this culture almost never talks about, it talks about civil rights a lot, or human rights, but it rarely, in fact, I don't think it's ever mentioned the idea of social rights. Is your right to have equality in society, you see? Because that's a quote-unquote ideal of democracy. People are equal, but in fact, they're not. In this culture, it's very clear that there are social hierarchies. And if you fall at the bottom of one, woe unto you if you try to crash the party of a higher rank in society. So social rights are never talked about. In the Islamic tradition, one of the really interesting things about Islam is it teaches us that there is an internal hierarchy that is known only to God. And therefore, it challenges you to recognize that everyone outside yourself may be better than you in the eyes of God. And so you have to have comportment with everybody, even a person that you might think is lower in social standing, they could be higher in spiritual standing. And this is why you had kings at the doors of beggars in the history of Islam. There's no other religion that I know of that has that quality, where you had literally kings at the doors of beggars asking for their prayers. The other thing that is really interesting is in this culture, you won't get people from Black Hawk or from Los Gatos going to church in East Oakland. It's just not the way the society works. And yet in the Muslim world, the richest man could pray next to the most impoverished man in the same prayer line. And it's always been like that. And that is something really unusual about Islam, is it creates a true brotherhood. There's a recognition that people have things in the world that Allah has given them and other people lack, but that does not prevent you from seeing this person as essentially equal before God and possibly and in fact, probably, according to most of the hadith about rich people and poor people, the poor person is probably closer to God than you are. And that instills in you a desire to actually be kind to them. Because you're actually worried that you might upset your Lord by having any contempt or even just simply treating them less than they deserve. سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجمي محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن